So this is the 5x7 landscape tower card. So this has that landscape section in the middle. And then there's also the 5x7 portrait and we did the 6x6 as well. And all of those are on the channel and I'll have those linked up. You can see all of the dies there. So this, the 5x7 ones do need a larger die machine because of the, the width here is seven inches. So I'll go through the other product in a moment. So what I've already gone ahead and done is I've ran this through with a piece of 300 GSM cardstock, okay? And it will give you all the cuts and the score lines. Now, I always like to just go back over my score lines so you can see them there. I'm just going to go right down through and then you'll see where you need to score on the other ones because it's like every other, just so you get a nice clean finish. It's optional. They are deep enough, but I always find just going back over just ensures then you won't get any cracking. So just find a track, line them up and just go over those. Then if you take a ruler and what you want to do is go under, over, under, over. You're going to go under the big section, over, under, over, and you'll finish. Well, under, and then coming out the other end. Just follow that pattern there. As long as you start going under from the bottom and you finish coming under from the top there. Turn the ruler until it lines up. It kind of click into place, but it'll line up along the folds and then just pinch your fingers kind of over those and then you can kind of start to work them into the position that they need to go do the same on the back and then when I take that out I'm just go to fold that all down you will have one half of your tower fold I'll just show you that again on this side so I'm going under over under over under over under over and finish under again turn it until your ruler just lines up on those folds and then just kind of push it down like so and again bring that one over now I have so many different ways of using this you can double them up so you could cut another one now stick them back to back so you've got a real dimensional piece you can cut this out completely using the dies and I've done Christmas versions before where I've added acetate and lights I've done one with an underwater theme and made it into like an aquarium there's so many so I'll try again and link them all here but head over to my um, Facebook page if you're on Facebook if you go to the album section and just scroll down till you see the tower cards and there's all of the cards that I've made there so there's loads of inspiration you'll then find in the die set you've got all your mats and layers so you've got your mat and layer for your side sections here you've got your mats and layer for these bits and the mat and layer for the middle here and then these here are die cuts for all of these sections here if you want to decorate those as well so I've already gone ahead and cut all of the mats and layers and I've used my paper the blue one here from the bright and beautiful backgrounds and I've, this is kind of representing the sky so I've got them there there then I've used the silver and I've got all these little pieces which are going to go and cover. You could cover all of them, so even the ones in there. I think I'm just going to cover the sides here and leave those white just so there's a little bit of a contrast. And then I've got the main decoration. So I'm going to talk through that in a moment. First of all, I'm going to go and get all of this stuck down. And then I find the easiest way to add these pieces is if you lay it all flat. And I'll just start off here. If you just add your glue, like a little line of it there, and then take the strips and just place those down. So I find it easier to add the glue to the card rather than the glue to these little pieces. And then you can kind of just wiggle them around. You'll see now how they look. Okay, so whatever works easiest for you, but I just find that's quite quick doing it that way. So that's everything stuck down. It's really strong. You've got your space on the back to write your message and it stands up really nicely. 
going to be using the perky pooches with this one and you get the die set as well which i've got on the back there so i've cut the grass these ones here are to create like a kennel and I've, again i've got heaps of cards and tutorials using this set so you can find all of those on the channel and also on my facebook page but what i thought would be nice to build up a couple of layers of the grass so i'm going to trim these down and then i was going to have maybe one of the little puppies behind the grass and then one more in the foreground there and then i was going to build up all these little bits here i think the tag would look quite nice kind of at the top there but you've got the little food bowl the bone i'm going to be trimming so i'm going to obviously trim that off there so we could have maybe one of the toys down there and then the sentiment i'm going to use is to my bona fide friend so i'm going to probably have that one there i could have it maybe up there we'll play around i'm going to pop it on high speed now and get this all stuck down Okay, so there's the finished card. I love this. I think it looks so cute. So I'm just going to add some shine to the card. So this one always looks, or the stamp, should I say, always looks nice with some gloss on the nose, the eyes, the tongue. And then maybe we'll pop some, let's say it's the water bowl, actually, we'll pop some water in there. And let's do the number one there as well. There we go. I just hold that up now with the shine from the silver and the glaze there. I think it just finishes it off perfectly. You've also got some paw prints in the set here. So you could stamp some paw prints. I've done that. I've made it. I've used the paw print stamp as um to create my own pattern paper and that looked really nice as well so a perfect card there for any dog lovers or for your own dog this could be a birthday card i could even give this to monty but i think i've got his card sorted now so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today it's a new bundle that we've put together so for anybody new to made to surprise or maybe it's something that you've passed on in the past but now you're looking at it again differently thinking that it might you know be a nice addition to your stash check out the links that i've got in the description box below i also have some other tutorials using this dice Set coming up now and as always if you're not subscribed and you've enjoyed today hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell and that way you won't miss out on any future videos see you all again soon bye